Greetings guys, I uh, welcome you in this wonderful video. So I'm very, very excited to be bringing this beautiful video to you. So today I'm just going to be breaking down, if I may say, the most important thing or the most important technical aspect of V75. If you really want to understand how this market behaves, so this is the right video for you. Uh, when I try to analyze how I really uh, understood this market, uh, I just figured out that it's not complicated things. It's just few patterns, few structures, which I'm going to be sharing with you in this wonderful video. So without wasting your time, let me just get into it. So when it comes to analyzing, you shouldn't take analyzing as something which is complicated. For an example, I'm in this chart here, which is V75. I'm on the uh, one hour. So I'm I'm just going to be uh, showing you a simple thing. So when you analyze, you don't only look for uh, the, keys, the key structures which are common. For an example, people will be looking at uh, something like this support or other people will be looking for something like this resistance and so on drawing trend lines but analyzing analyzing it is just to focus on the most visible things where or through which even a person doesn't know how to trade can see them meaning analyzing is all about just detecting the most visible patterns so for an example in this case the most basic visible st structures of this market is that usually the market is moving into two forms. There is a form where the market is clustered, for an example, here, 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 here. Ne? And then there, there is another place where the market is not clustered, but where it is so aggressive, for an example, here, here, and there. So you see that we have... Uh, we have just simple, basic, visible structures of the market. Ne? So this is where your analysis should start. Actually, this is just a simple method that will make you understand how a certain uh, pay or a certain instrument behave. So for example, I've identified these two uh, uh, key structures. However, you can break them down. Ne? For an example, uh, we also have uh, a, a high move here, a high strength move here, a momentum move here. You can also break it down into very, very uh, basic or visible chunks. Not just that I didn't observe this high impulsive move, just making example with the clear ones. Ne? So then the question is, okay i've identified these two things uh which are these areas of transition and these areas of a high momentum then what the next step how should i go about trading so you should first observe that okay in these transition areas or areas of a high activity this is where the market is moving in a form of a channel in the form of a channel, meaning it can either be an ascending channel or it can be a descending channel. And this is a very, very interesting thing because when you see a channel, a channel means that something is going to happen. And what's that thing? It's a breakout. Yeah, so meaning if we observe a channel, it means that we know that a breakout has to happen because when the market is moving in a channel, you need to know that the market is moving in a uh, in a bit slower way, meaning there's a little bit of tension between the two players, which are the buyers and the sellers. So when you observe the channel, it means that we have to wait for something which is a breakout. Yeah? If you if you follow me a lot, you'll know that I really talk about pan, uh, pattern breaks a lot. This is what I'm referring to. When we spot channels, you need to know that we are expecting a breakout. And the most interesting thing is that an ascending channel, we expect a downward breakout. And a descending channel, we expect an upward breakout. So it, it's just a simple thing. If we can look at our chart here, uh, let me just try to just go to this. So we can see that here, we have a channel uh, here. If I may draw my lines. We have a channel here which is ascending uh, and the most important thing that we're waiting for here is we are waiting for a key breakout that is going to happen where it's going to happen on the downside. However, this doesn't mean that we should ignore the fact that the buyers are in control right now. We don't ignore that fact. Actually, we use it on our favor. Why? Because it gives us an opportunity to both trade minor and trade major. What do I mean about that? When we are trading minor, meaning we are taking advantage of very, very small moves. For an example, you take advantage of a buy when it's happening inside the channel and you take an advantage of a sell when it happens 
down the channel. But then the major focus for us, it is this main move that we're expecting here. For example, this move, which move from here all the way down there, that's the move that we're expecting here. A channel, uh, I mean a breakout, which is going to be impulsive going on the downside. Why is also that case? Because we can see that here we had a very, very impulsive move going down and then the market broke out. So when the market broke on the downside, we're expecting it to continue to go even on the downside. However, this cannot be the limitation. But what have given us the opportunity it is the channel. Once we see a channel, it means that the buyers, they are struggling to give us this form of structure, this form of move. It means that the sellers are going to take the market down just like they did here. Yeah. So this is just the best way, guys. You should always focus on where the market is now is the market in a transition or is the market in a high impulsive move now if you observe clearly you can see that this market it keeps on moving just the same it keeps on moving just the same it gives you in transition an era where there is so much activity taking place and then it gives you a breakout transition a breakout and transition a breakout so this is something guys that i really use a lot this is what i trade when I, when it comes to trading i observe these areas where there is so much volatility or where there is a uh, a little bit of uh, in transition and then I know that after in transition remember what I always say is that in transition is like a negotiation after in transition the deal has to be closed and it, it will be closed on one side where in this case it will be the opposing side of the uh, channel or of the the, the, the the pattern or the transition so make sure that you observe where the transition is going and then try to wait for the market to collapse and when the market breaks out the turn you're gonna be taking your opportunity i hope uh this uh made a little bit of sense so thank you guys for watching this video